Designer Babies, The Science, Ethics, and Future of Engineering the Perfect Human The concept of, designer babies, refers to the genetic modification of embryos to influence the traits and characteristics of a child. Advances in gene editing technologies, like CRISPR-Sas9, have made it possible to manipulate DNA in ways that could shape a person's physical appearance, intelligence, susceptibility to diseases, and even personality traits before birth. This idea has stirred intense debate among scientists, ethicists, and the general public, raising questions about the potential benefits, ethical dilemmas, and societal consequences of designing humans. In this video, we explore the science behind designer babies, the controversies they provoke, and the future implications of such technologies. The Science Behind Designer Babies The term designer babies became prominent in the early 2000s, with the advent of reproductive technologies like in vitro fertilization, IVF, and pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, PGD. PGD allows doctors to screen embryos for specific genetic diseases before implantation. However, gene editing technologies, particularly CRISPR, clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats, have taken the potential of genetic manipulation to new levels. CRISPR allows scientists to precisely cut and modify specific sections of DNA, offering a way to eliminate genetic diseases and possibly even enhance desirable traits. Theoretically, parents could choose traits such as height, eye color, intelligence, or athleticism, creating a designer baby. Key Technologies 1. CRISPR-Sas9, a tool used for editing genes by removing or altering specific DNA sequences. 2. Pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, PGD, screens embryos for genetic conditions, already used to prevent hereditary diseases. 3. Gene therapy. Used to insert, alter, or remove genes within an individual's cells to treat disease. Benefits of designer babies. One of the primary arguments in favor of genetic engineering in humans is the prevention of genetic diseases. Conditions like cystic fibrosis, Huntington's disease, and sickle cell anemia, which have plagued families for generations, could theoretically be eliminated through genetic intervention. 1. Eradication of Genetic Disorders By editing the genomes of embryos, scientists could prevent children from inheriting debilitating genetic conditions. This could significantly reduce the burden of healthcare costs and emotional suffering associated with chronic diseases. 2. Enhanced Quality of Life Beyond disease prevention, genetic editing holds the potential to enhance an individual's quality of life. By selecting traits that may improve health outcomes, such as genes associated with higher immunity or longevity, parents might ensure their child has a longer, healthier life. 3. Scientific Progress The development of designer babies could push the boundaries of human potential. Advancements in understanding genetics and human biology could fuel progress in other fields, such as personalized medicine, biopharmaceuticals, and bioengineering. Genetic editing could revolutionize healthcare by preventing hereditary diseases and improving overall health, while also driving scientific progress in multiple fields. Ethical Concerns and Controversies The concept of designer babies inevitably raises numerous ethical questions, particularly surrounding issues of fairness, consent, and the potential for societal harm. 1. Inequality and Access one of the most prominent concerns is that only wealthy families may have access to genetic engineering technologies, exacerbating social inequalities. If affluent parents can afford to enhance their children's intelligence, appearance, or physical abilities, this could widen the gap between the rich and the poor, creating a genetic elite. 2. Consent Another critical issue is that the child, who will live with the genetic modifications, cannot consent to these changes. While parents generally make decisions in the best interest of their children, choosing traits such as intelligence or athleticism raises questions about autonomy and individuality. 3. Eugenics and Playing God Critics argue that designer babies could lead to a form of modern eugenics, where society prioritizes certain traits over others, leading to potential discrimination against those who are deemed genetically inferior. 
This echoes dark historical precedents, where eugenic movements sought to improve the human race by controlling reproduction. 4. Unintended Consequences Gene editing is still in its infancy, and the long-term effects of altering human genomes are unknown. Genetic modifications could have unforeseen side effects, such as the introduction of new diseases or harmful mutations. Once the human germline is altered, these changes are passed down to future generations, meaning any mistakes could be permanent. The ethical concerns surrounding designer babies include issues of inequality, consent, and the potential for societal harm, prompting debates about the limits of genetic engineering. Legal and Regulatory Framework As of now, many countries have banned or heavily regulated human germline editing, modifying the genes passed on to offspring, recognizing the ethical and societal implications. However, enforcement and regulations vary, and some researchers have tested the boundaries of these laws. 1. International Treaties International frameworks such as the Oviedo Convention 1997, prohibit genetic modification of the human germline for non-therapeutic purposes. Many countries adhere to these guidelines to prevent unethical experiments. 2. Notable Incidents the most famous breach of ethical guidelines occurred in 2018 when Chinese scientist He Jiankui announced that he had edited the genes of twin girls to make them resistant to HIV. The experiment sparked international outrage and led to He's imprisonment, emphasizing the need for stricter regulation and oversight. Current laws around designer babies are strict, but gaps in enforcement and technology advancements create room for potential misuse. Future Implications as genetic technology continues to develop, the boundaries of what is possible will expand, prompting society to grapple with difficult questions about the future of human evolution. 1. Enhancement versus Therapy The distinction between genetic therapy, curing diseases, and genetic enhancement, improving traits, will become increasingly blurred. Society will need to decide whether genetic editing should be restricted to medical conditions or expanded to allow for enhancements, such as higher intelligence or athleticism. 2. Redefining normal. As more families have the option to genetically modify their children, what is considered normal may change. Traits once seen as disabilities or challenges could become rarer, leading to societal pressures to conform to new genetic standards. 3. Global competition. Countries with the most advanced genetic technologies may have a competitive advantage in fields such as science, medicine, and even military applications. This could lead to a global arms race in genetic engineering, with nations vying to produce superior populations. The future of designer babies will challenge societal norms, blur the lines between therapy and enhancement, and potentially create global competition in genetic engineering. Balancing Innovation and Ethics Designer babies present one of the most exciting yet contentious frontiers of modern science. The potential to eliminate genetic diseases and enhance human capabilities is tantalizing, but it comes with significant ethical, legal, and social challenges. As we navigate the future of genetic engineering, it will be essential to balance innovation with responsible oversight, ensuring that the benefits of this technology are accessible to all while safeguarding against potential harm. The debate surrounding designer babies touches on profound questions about the nature of humanity, equality, and the limits of science. How far should we go in reshaping our species, and what kind of future do we want to create for generations to come? If you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. What regulations are in place, or should be in place, to govern the use of genetic engineering technologies for creating designer babies? Currently, the regulation of genetic engineering, particularly when it involves human embryos, is a patchwork of national and international laws, with some countries adopting strict prohibitions while others allow more leniency under specific conditions. Existing Regulations 1. International Guidelines and Treaties Oviedo Convention, 1997, an international treaty adopted by the Council of Europe that prohibits genetic modification of the human germline unless it is strictly for therapeutic purposes. 
The treaty emphasizes the need to protect human dignity and prohibits any interventions aimed at altering the genomes of future generations for non-therapeutic reasons. UNESCO's Universal Declaration on the Human Genome and Human Rights, 1997, declares that the human genome must not be altered for non-therapeutic purposes, and any attempt to modify the human genome in a way that would allow genetic alterations to be transmitted to descendants, should be prohibited. 2. National Regulations United States Human germline editing is currently prohibited from receiving federal funding, and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, has significant oversight. However, the use of gene editing technologies in embryos is not explicitly illegal, leaving the door open for private research under strict ethical scrutiny. United Kingdom In the UK, the Human Fertilization and Embryology Authority HFEA, regulates embryo research, including gene editing. Only research aimed at preventing genetic diseases is allowed, and using edited embryos for reproduction is strictly prohibited. China Despite having looser regulations in certain scientific areas, China sparked international outrage when He Jiankui edited the genes of human embryos in 2018. After the incident, China imposed stricter regulations, but enforcement and transparency remain a concern. Regulations that should be in place 1. Global Moratorium on Germline Editing for Non-Therapeutic Purposes, Until Safety, Ethics, and Societal Impact are Better Understood, A Global Moratorium Could Prevent Reckless Experimentation. 2. International Oversight and Cooperation, Establishing an international body to oversee genetic engineering research would encourage transparency, uniform ethical standards, and collaboration across countries. 3. Strict Licensing and Monitoring, Institutions conducting research or offering services involving gene editing should be rigorously licensed, with continuous monitoring to ensure compliance with ethical guidelines. 4. Legal frameworks for liability. Regulations should include provisions for liability in case of unintended consequences, ensuring that affected individuals have legal recourse. Current regulations on designer babies vary widely, with many countries allowing limited therapeutic use but prohibiting genetic enhancement. Stricter international cooperation and oversight are needed to ensure ethical compliance and prevent misuse of genetic engineering technologies. How do different religious and cultural perspectives influence the ethical considerations of designer babies? The ethical debate around designer babies is deeply influenced by religious and cultural values, with various traditions offering diverse perspectives on the modification of human life. Christianity In Christianity, particularly within Catholicism, the sanctity of life is a fundamental belief. The idea of manipulating the human genome is viewed by many as playing God, and altering embryos for non-therapeutic purposes is largely condemned. The Vatican has consistently opposed gene editing, emphasizing that human life, as created by God, should not be tampered with for personal gain or enhancement. However, some Protestant denominations are more open to using gene editing technology for medical purposes, so long as it aligns to heal rather than enhance. There is significant concern about creating a societal divide between the genetically modified and unmodified, with the latter seen as contrary to Christian principles of equality. Islam In Islam, medical advancements are often viewed positively when they aim to alleviate suffering or cure diseases, provided they do not contradict Islamic principles. Generally, gene editing to prevent diseases is permissible within Islamic ethics, as the improvement of human health is a valued goal. However, modifying embryos to enhance non-medical traits, for example, intelligence or appearance, may be seen as altering God's creation, which is discouraged. Islamic scholars emphasize that any intervention must be within the bounds of Sharia, Islamic law, and should not harm individuals or society. The concept of justice, particularly about social equity, also plays a crucial role in these considerations. Judaism Judaism places great value on preserving life and promoting health, and many rabbis support genetic engineering when it is used to prevent or cure life-threatening diseases. The concept of pikwach nefesh, saving a life, is paramount, and genetic modification for therapeutic purposes may be seen as an extension of that principle. 
However, modifying embryos for enhancement purposes is viewed with more skepticism, as it may challenge the natural order of life created by God. Moreover, Jewish teachings on humility and the inherent value of each individual could raise concerns about the societal implications of designer babies. Eastern Traditions, Hinduism, Buddhism Hinduism and Buddhism often emphasize balance, karma, and the natural course of life. In Hinduism, the concept of ahimsa, non-harm, may guide decisions about whether or not genetic interventions are ethical. If gene editing is used to prevent suffering, it might be viewed positively, but altering natural traits could be seen as interfering with the cosmic order or one's karma. Buddhism's focus on suffering and compassion means that preventing genetic diseases could align with its principles, but modifying the human genome for enhancement may conflict with teachings about attachment, desire, and the impermanence of life. Key Takeaway Religious and cultural perspectives shape the ethical considerations surrounding designer babies, with a consensus that gene editing for therapeutic purposes is acceptable, but non-therapeutic enhancements raise moral concerns about playing God, altering natural order, and societal justice. What are the potential psychological and emotional implications for children born as designer babies as they grow up and understand the nature of their genetic modifications? Children born as designer babies may face complex psychological and emotional challenges as they navigate their identity and the implications of their genetically engineered traits. 1. Identity and Autonomy Issues Designer babies may struggle with questions of identity and personal autonomy, especially if their parents have chosen traits like intelligence, appearance, or talents. These children may wonder whether their achievements are truly their own or the result of genetic manipulation. This could lead to an identity crisis or a sense of detachment from their true self. 2. Pressure to meet expectations. Children whose traits were selected to match certain ideals, such as being exceptionally intelligent or athletic, might face immense pressure to live up to those expectations. Parents, society, or even the children themselves may feel that failing to meet those standards is not only a personal failure but also a failure of the genetic modifications made before their birth. 3. Stigma and Social Isolation In a world where genetic modifications become more common, designer babies may face stigma from those who were not genetically enhanced, leading to social isolation or discrimination. Conversely, if genetic enhancements become a societal norm, those born naturally might be viewed as inferior, resulting in segregation and alienation. 4. Sense of unnaturalness. Some designer babies may feel that their genetic makeup makes them unnatural or artificial, leading to feelings of alienation from their peers or a sense of being engineered rather than naturally born. This could exacerbate issues of self-esteem and create emotional distance between them and others. 5. Ethical Guilt As these children grow older, they may grapple with ethical guilt, especially if they perceive that their genetic advantages came at the expense of others' opportunities. In a world of increasing inequality, being a designer baby could carry a psychological burden of privilege or guilt for having traits that others were denied due to socioeconomic or ethical constraints. Key Takeaway Children born as designer babies may face significant psychological and emotional challenges related to their identity, societal expectations, and the ethical implications of their genetic modifications. Addressing these concerns will require sensitivity and careful consideration of their mental well-being. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Remember to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.